Well, there's a little seven iron chip and run shot. My name's Adam Bazalgette, founder of scratchgolfacademy.com. I want to talk to you today about golf ball position when chipping in golf. Where do we play the ball and what are the variables? Stay tuned. Okay, so golf ball position when chipping in golf. Let's talk about a few of the variables and what should be similar. Now I've got two clubs, a pitching wedge and then a seven iron you saw me chip with just a minute ago. Uh, and we're gonna show you what would be the determining factors on that. Before we do that though, I wanna show you a couple of general things or at least discuss them with you. Now if you like the video, please hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel, would love to get you more of this free content as we go along. So what are the basic premises? Let me put the pitching wedge down. The basic premise is that your club is likely to bottom out or hit the bottom of its, the lowest point of its swing right underneath your body center like so. So if you wanna hit the ball just at the bottom of your swing, and we'll give you the variables in a minute, that's the position. In general though, you wanna hit the ball a little bit before you get to the bottom of your swing when you're chipping. So what I would recommend is just plumb bob a club from your shirt buttons like so, ball about middle, and just put your weight a little forward so that you think that's just hitting the ground a oh, couple of inches in front of it. And say to yourself, once you've looked down and memorized it, that would be my bread and butter ball position. So just something like that, put the club back in your hands and get familiar with that. Let's talk about a few variables and for that we'll do a close up camera angle. Okay, so we've got two slightly different situations. This is tight fairway grass, and this is a little bit spongier, light rough. And of course, there's other situations you could get into, such as heavy rough. But we'll just talk about these more typical chipping lies. In this case of a seven iron, because it has less loft, the sweet spot of the club leans up against the ball a little bit more easily than does, say, a more lofted club. Again, there's the sweet spot, something like a pitching wedge. This club requires a little bit more forward lean or a fractionally more descending blow for solid contact. Similarly, the more the ball is sitting down in flat, firm turf, the more I have to lean the club forward for solid contact. But the more the ball is sitting in more fluffy kind of a ground, I can put some pressure in the ground. I don't need as much forward lean for solid contact. Now these are reasonably subtle things, but they make a real difference when you're chipping that you understand them. Whatever you're doing, you're trying to get the sweet spot of the club in a normal chip against the ball. And some lies and some club choices require less lean of the club. Some require a little bit more lean of the club, and you have to master that to figure it out. It's one of the reasons it takes a while to become a really quality chipper is because it's not just vanilla solid contact, but the subtleties of how you use the club and the ball position related to the lie really, really affect the trajectory and the way the ball comes off. Obviously a pitching wedge hit with more lean is gonna come off lower and harder, and one with a spongy lie where I can kind of brush underneath it is gonna come off a little higher and softer and you have to practice a little bit to get these down. It really isn't that difficult, but it takes some time on task. So those are the principles as to what we're looking for. Let's look at a couple of other general ideas. Okay, so I hope that gives you a little bit of a sense of the subtleties involved and what you're trying to achieve with ball position, namely solid contact. Now, let me say one little thing here. And let's say you move to a new city and you don't know your way around. You want to know a couple of general main roads. And then as you get more comfortable in that city, you start to learn shortcuts, back roads, and a little bit more detail. Same with chipping. Start out with that ball position I recommended where your shirt buttons are slightly in front of the ball, weights a little left, and just make relatively consistent contact and get used to maybe two chipping clubs. I like a pitching wedge and an eight iron or at least a club gap between them, you may like more than that. As you get more confident and more sophisticated, start to branch out, like knowing the different back roads in a city. Maybe you use three clubs, maybe a six iron and eight in the pitching wedge, or whatever you choose to do, and you start to learn a little bit about different lies and varying it a little bit. That comes with some practice. Again, not impossible, just takes a little time on task. But whatever you do, I would not vary much from ball slightly, slightly back of center. Hey, if it's sitting up in the rough, play it just a little bit more under your center or forward. If it's really in a tight, wet spot on the grass, maybe play it just a little bit further back. But if you vary it too much, you'll either start stabbing down on the ground and digging the club here, or scooping too much and changing the loft or mishitting there. So just a little variance from slightly behind center 
to center, give or take a little bit. Hope this helps you with golf ball position when chipping in golf. Uh, again, please subscribe to the channel. We'll get you more free content. ScratchGolfAcademy.com is my website. All kinds of material there for you. Hope you'll check it out. Hope this helps you.